while you were watching. I made a small classroom copy of the fighter jet. So, so the question for us uh, about that video is there's a trajectory that the jet follows and the way the jet follows that trajectory, what is it that makes the jet turn and flip? And if you make this small copy of the jet and you let it fly and then you want it to fly to the right, not to the left, what do you do? You adjust the rudder. So you adjust those ends of the, uh, the flaps is that what, what they call it on real jets? So what, what do you do to that? If I wanted to turn right, how do you adjust the flaps? Flip the left one up, the left one. So they take the left one and flip it up? No. <laughs> The right one up. Are you ready? That is an expensive experiment, you know. <laughs> and yes, indeed, it turns right. So what is that? Thank you. What is it that makes it turn right? Drag. Why did you choose the right flap to go up? What if I make the left up? What happens then? It will go straighter, but... But what? It will go up, right? So, so the thing is that uh, in this simplistic model, when you determine only the angle of each of the two flaps, both flaps going up, for example, make the plane go up. And then thinking of trajectory of this motion, you see that this motion is what? A curve. A curve, which is? What is special about this curve? A curve in three-dimensional space. Right? It is flat. The plane follows the airplane follows one plane, right? and these both flaps going up are responsible for what? For the curvature of that curve, right? And if I simultaneously make them down, it will be the opposite curvature. And the more I turn them up, the more curved my trajectory will be. Now, what is it that makes, how would I make the airplane turn? And you notice that the real jets, they don't, don't turn like this. Right? If you want to turn right, they don't do it like this. They turn. And, and then they uh, apply curvature, right? But in order to turn, they do what? Well, they make the flaps go different way. Right? So basically, the well, if the flaps go together in one direction, then the amount they go together determines the curvature of that trajectory. But if they go not in the same amount, right? then the difference between those turns of the flaps determines the torsion determines how the plane will rotate around this axis, right? How this, uh, well, without the torsion, having just the curvature, you have plane staying in one uh, osculating plane of the trajectory, and if you add torsion, then the trajectory becomes three-dimensional, and that osculating plane changes. So basically with this model, the osculating plane is, is this one, right? this vertical plane. 
and as it flies, the plane changes. And uh, that is the next 